All right, guys, 7 o'clock. I call the meeting to order. We record the members absent and present. Number three, discussion and vote to approve the minutes of the June 8, 2015 regular school board meeting and the June 16, 2015 school board meeting and the June 29, 2015 school board meeting. Just made the motion for June 8th. Amber second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. White? Yes. Heller? No stain. Will Hyatt? Yes. I'll make a motion for the June 16th meeting. Second. Amber second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. White? Yes. Heller? Yes. Will Hyatt? Yes. And on the June 29th, we should have Stephanie on that list also, as one of our guests. Oh, the guests? Okay. Yeah. So I'll make a motion with that and just, just that to it. Okay. On the June 29th. I'll second it. And that was my failure to put her name. <laughs> well, I'm going to motion here. Who's seconded? Okay. Littlefield? Yes. White? Yes. Heller? Yes. White? Yes. Number four, discussion vote to approve the treasurer's report. I gave you guys kind of a copy of what you normally get. We can't really vote on the report because I can't close out my end of the month until everything's um, balanced with the State Department and how Buddy wants everything. So, um, right now, um, if you look under the sinking fund, you'll see I've made some, I've made two payments on, um, two of the bond, um, interest payments. So that's a check box sinking fund. And, um, let's see, our total cash right now is 1.5, um, like I said, with that, we'll move some money around after Buddy gets a hold of us on some stuff with the bond issue. So right now I can't really give you exact numbers in each fund. I think we're going to add a fund, 35, um, for the 385000 that we originally got from the very beginning. So we're going to, you'll have another bond, or, or another fund on your report that you'll actually approve, and it'll have the 385000 in it. Um, we got um, a wire for six hundred ninety-two thousand into the bond fund for money that the back was. Was that bank first that sent that, Judy? Yes. Yeah. 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 Production this month was still up about well, about ten thousand, around ten thousand. So it came out one sixty-four. Um, we did turn over um, lunch bills, and I don't know have they caused the DA call or anything from like a payment or. I mean, anybody's responded to them or anything? No, but uh, if they handle it the same way they do hot checks, it will just randomly receive okay. a payment and it'll tell who all it's from. Okay, so you guys might see that sort of thing. We start to see that before the school starts in August. We should yeah. probably not. Yeah, they got the letter at what the very end of well, June. The very end of June. What was the total that, that we're out? Huh? What was the total that we're out? We're out. I think our whole total um, outstanding was around twelve thousand last time I looked, and we haven't received a whole lot it's of. It's come rates. down a little bit. Then. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, Or no, yeah. <laughs> they stop. Right. 
same right. year and have all the numbers filled through the end of the month. So she hasn't been able to close it out. Oh, okay. It's okay. That's my data. So what we'll do is we'll table the treasurer's report until you have have all the information yeah. done. Yeah. And usually, um, which now I don't know for sure if by next month everything will be right. They should be. Get that, Judy. Yes. Good job. All right, number five, discussion of vote to approve the activity fund report. Okay, the same thing with this one. Um, once we lock in our state department, we can do this, but this shouldn't change. Nothing on this. I didn't have any errors or anything to fix, so it should be good. Okay. So, um, you got on adjustments, $200 in athletics. It's from softball. It was a two NSF checks. Um, um, boys track, they've had donations and sold t-shirts for their rings, so that's their big receipt money. Plus I've made a deposit to hold or on the rings, so that came back out for a check. The band, the 7800, that was, um, went with the 10000 that came out of general fund for instruments. Um, FCCLA had an adjustment of $100, I canceled the check, she ended up not going at the end of the year on a trip that she was going to ca get cash for. That it out. Um, normally the beautification donations does not have much come out of it but at graduation there was um, some confusion on who decorated and who paid for what and all this kind of stuff and it just kind of we got a big bill for it and the seniors didn't have the money to cover it and so we ended up taking it out of there. Hi. Number five will be table duty. Number six, discussion of vote to approve and coverage is remaining for the 1415 uh, general fund. Judy's request 2363 I'm just kidding. Okay. If you'll turn back, since he wants to start with that, turn back to like the fifth page. I wrote 1415 at the top. Yeah. These are not going to be the final bills that come out of the 1415 year. I still got several open purchase orders. And I think we have until the auditor gives us till about the middle of September to be sure and get all those cleared up so we can shut out the year for good. Um, I just thumbed down through there and ask me if you have any questions. You'll see a lot of large amounts. And we're doing a lot of ordering for the elementary school, the furniture, desks, chairs, tables, stuff like that. Is this pretty much all or is we got a lot more orders coming in? There'll be a lot more. Not a lot, lot more, but there'll be several more. <clears throat> okay, so then if you'll go back to the front page, the first three pages are ones that are the blanket purchase orders I opened up for this year. This is not what we're paying out right now. This is what I've been covered for the whole school year. Okay. And then just because these are just recurring bills that we have instead of opening a new purchase order every month, I just do a blanket one. And then there'll be six of them out of the child nutrition for the food, the places she orders from. And 
and the very last page is um, four purchase orders from this year. The first two are great big. One's our workman's comp insurance and one's a property insurance. And the asbestos management and then this is a special ed software that Charity needs. It's an extension of what the program she's using now to help transition into what the, the new software stuff they'll be doing. Thank you, Judy. Do I have a motion? Amber's made a motion. Tony second, Judy. Willow Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yes. Teller? Yes. Well, I, yes. Number eight, discussion vote to approve breakfast and lunch prices for the 15-16 school year. Uh, they are able to remain the same as the 14-15. Breakfast at $1.60, lunch for $2.05, and extra milk and break milk for $0.30. Cents. Oh, did I? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. All right, back up to number seven. Administrative reports, and I do have a Coriolis uh, sent me some of uh, his reports. <clears throat> and it says projects are moving along nicely. Uh, elementary, for the most part, is finished, other than some minor issues uh, by the school's responsibility level, such as intercom system and some mail work. Uh, Ruth and Corey have walked through the facilities. There are a few minor details to address in the system, other than the facility preparation on the part. Uh, waxing and then uh, moving in at the school level and we'll let the teachers back into their classrooms at the end of the month. Uh, ag building, so the steel is here, had a minor setback last week when the crew hit a sewer main that had to be addressed. Uh, should see a skeleton shortly. On the sports complex, uh, he says it's rocking and rolling. Don't know how this, the suspected rain will play out, but infill will continue this week with concrete for drains and uh, track curbing. We sat later this week and, and uh, next week it's really going to take shape in the next four weeks. The time schedule has been addressed more than once. Everyone is aware. Uh, expected finish dates for the turf, stands, lights uh, are looking to be around September 1st. Um, saying that we'll have to work around all other construction parts with anticipated completion projects at the complex for November 13th, uh, which he says is good is a good position to host playoffs. Auditorium, we we're waiting for a door install, which was a last minute add-on. But other than that, it's complete. Doing some technology enhances there, but should be complete in the next two weeks. And the cafeteria, new install for kitchen equipment is scheduled for fall break. There's too many issues involved at summertime to get the necessary people here. We expect a quote from Comfort Zone for install. And that's all Corey had on the administrative report. Is that for the van The van yeah. So that was it on administrative reports on number seven. Now I'm moving along to number eight. Discussion and vote to approve breakfast and lunch prices for the 15-16 school year. They were able to remain the same. As the last year, uh, breakfast at $1.60, lunch for $2.05, and extra milk or break milk for $0.30. Motion to Second. Members made the motion. TJ second. Judy? Willowfield? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Teller? Yes. Willowhite? Well, yes. Discussion vote to approve recurring fundraisers for the 15-16 school year. Example be the VOAG, Blue and Gold Sausage, Sophomore Class, Shirts. Judy, do you have some things you want to add? The sophomore class, when I typed on their shirts, it needs to be closing. So any clothing that's sold when it goes to the sophomore class, so they benefit from that. Instead of having three or four different groups selling basically the same thing, just from a different company. So I'll make a motion to approve the breakfast and lunch prices. We did. I mean. Um, <laughs> I'm reading the wrong ones. This stuff's typed close. <laughs> it's it's either that or I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating my glasses. 
<laughs> yeah, to approve the reoccurring fundraisers for the 15-16 school year. Do I have a second? Second. Jeff, second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Number 10, discussion and vote to temporarily approve interim Superintendent Corey Ellis as a purchasing agent for the Cherokee Public School District. Authorized representative for all federal programming, including E-rates, child nutrition, and designated custodian for the general fund, building fund, and child nutrition fund, bond fund, activity fund, all federal programs, including E-rate, all state programs, and all other school programs and activities not listed for the 15-16 school year. Second. Members made the motion. TJ second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. And we'll revisit this one on the, whenever we get another one higher. That's right. Number 11, discussion or vote to appoint the following individuals as receiving agents for the school district. Corey Ellis temporarily, Judy Porter, Jeremy Hickman, Sharon Newman, Child Nutrition, Connie Roberts. Motion. Okay. Members made the motion. Second. Jeff's made the second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Discussion and vote to appoint Judy Porter as board minutes clerk for the 15-16 school year. Motion. Second. second. Jeff's made the motion. TJ second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Nobody asked me if I wanted to. Allison? <laughs> yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? You have no choice. You don't get the opportunity. Keller? <laughs> Yes. Number 13, discussion and vote to. Did it again? No, here. Okay, yeah. There Number 13, yeah. discussion and vote to appoint Judy Porter as encumbrance clerk for the 15 16 school year. Thank you. Second. Good. TJ and Phil? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Number 14, discussion and vote to appoint Amantha Sanborn as treasurer for the 15-16 school year and to purchase a security bond for her. Make a motion. TJ's made the motion. Six. Amber second. Judy? Keller? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Phil? Yes. Number 15, discussion and vote to appoint the following individuals as activity fund custodians for the 15-16 school year and purchase a security bond for the Jeremy Hickman and Kendra Puffenberger. Amber's made the motion. Second. TJ second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yes. Keller? Yes. White? Yes. Number 16, discussion and vote to place all interest from all funds earned during the 15-16 school year into the general fund. Members made the motion. Second. Jeff, second. Judy. Lowfield? Yes. Allison? Yes. White? Yes. Keller? Yes. Lowfield? Yes. Who made the motion? I did. Thank you. And again, those were just housekeeping. Uh, number 17, discussion and vote to approve the following activity fund accounts and sub accounts for the 15 16 school year. Uh, annual yearbook, athletics, high school girls basketball, high school boys basketball, boys track, football, girls track, softball, baseball, cross country, band, concession, FFA, FCCLA, elementary, vocal music, high school cheerleaders, student council, middle school cheerleaders, FCA. Uh, library, lunch, class of 2012, elementary cheerleaders, class of 2013, class of 2014, class of 2015, music, beautification, donations, woodworking, class of 2016, elementary AR accelerated reader, uh, benevolent fund, class of 2017, scholarships, class of 2018, high school academic team, academic conference, 7th grade, 8th grade, theater, 6th grade. Members made the motion. Second. TJ second. Judy? Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. 
Number 18, discussion of vote on facility usage, usage fee. Uh, this will be something that um, we'll be discussing probably at a later date once we get some more information, but we do need to recognize that we need to get some uh, a policy in hand or in, and establish you know, the usage of the school, all facilities, whether it's the uh, local organization or somebody wanting to do something as an individual, but, but we'll be looking at it a later date, um, so no, no vote is necessary. Number 19, um, yeah, number 19, discussion and vote on resignation submitted. Um, didn't really have a resignation, but we did have a withdrawal. I thought those were resignations, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is not easy. <laughs> Number 19, um, discussion on resignation submitted. Uh, Curtis Goodwin um, has turned down the position that we've hired him for. Um, we need to accept a verbal resignation so that he, we can reopen the position for a new hire. And uh, Jeremy has posted this again. Amber's made the motion to accept his uh, resignation. Second, Judy. Littlefield? Yes. Allison? Yes. Wyatt? Yes. Keller? Yes. Wilhite? Yes. Number 20, new business. Uh, no new business. <laughs> Number 21. Motion. Vote to adjourn. Amber's made the motion. TJ? Second uh, time is 722. Yes. Allison? Yes. Why? Yes. Holler? Did I? Uh, no.